Welcome to Meet and Match Digital Show of Linea Telefair. Ciao, good morning, Gino Franzini. Good morning, Rita. How are you? I'm good and I'm so glad to have you here in our Meet and Match Smart Matching Talks. What are you talking about today? Today I will talk about uh, smart sneaker and in more detail about the evolution that sneaker will experience in the near future. And uh, I will introduce myself. I'm Gino Franzim, founder of a young startup advisor company operating in collection development and engineering processes for the fashion industry. This is great. So you mean that you choose one of the most interesting topic at the moment, which means sneakers, engineering, and I, I think you have other very special insights for us. Yeah, uh, today sneaker have a conquered and irreplaceable function in people's wardrobes, so firmly establishing themselves as the new canon of clothing both for men and women. The sneakers today has evolved into a shoe that incorporates sports, comfort, wellness, but also the characteristic of other genres. It's very relevant to note that no other clothing items has become a social and a cultural sign like the sneaker. And what do you want to suggest to us to know more about Sneaker and, for example, customization. Yeah, the personalization is super important. And today, more and more brands are focusing on customization by offering the possibility of creating online their own ideal sneaker, giving the, the final consumer the feeling of having built something unique and, first of all, tailor made rather than buying a mass product. This modality is a rather interesting aspect. We show how fashion objects are consumed today and which well explains the importance of customer centricity that is today. And the customer centricity that is the, the direct relationship with the public. In particular, uh, companies in the sector like and will engage consumers in the increasing circular value chains, offering a variety of options to extend product life with a preference for longer lasting, higher quality and sustainably product goods. The sneaker can thus be purchased in a virtual way, allowing users to try on the sneakers and to converse with a digital avatar in augmented reality context and in virtual environments, thanks to specific immersive platform. This, it is an effective mechanism also on the marketing level. Why? By involving the public, customers become ambassador of the brand and actively commit themselves to support the chosen item on these social channels in order to see it realized. This is very important. This does mean, in few words, targeted advertising and moreover for free, perhaps also thanks to the support of fashion bloggers or influencers. And what about the engineering aspect of the sneaker? The engineering and also the design are two very, very important aspects. The sneaker engineering is also undergoing great transformation thanks to advances in modeling technologies, recycling processes, the ability to treat organic material, in specific the biofibers, and thanks to the hybrid materials. Just like the engineering, the design of sneaker is evolving dynamically, aided by the usability of on-demand 3D printing technology that allows to customize the product and functionally 
industrialize it. So, technology and design to create the perfect combination to create iconic and timeless sneakers. So, we are today, we are therefore in the nascent phase of a close circuit design. The next challenge will be to scale the process to make it available to a mass audience in terms of industrial costs and consumer prices. So the very challenge is to produce 100% recyclable sneaker with integrated tracking technology, health monitoring and the futuristic features such as emerging automatic lacing technology, making use of engineering coming from automotive, apparel, aviation industry and consumer electronics. Very interesting to know that when you study a pair of sneakers, you merge all the synergy between automotive, high technology, virtual reality. But I remember that you were talking to me also about another important feature, which is the female sneaker. Yeah, yeah. we know very well how is the role that uh, have uh, in our society in, in this specific moment uh, the the women so finally the sneaker of the future uh, is especially designed for women in fact after the period of the so-called shrink it and pink it that is that annoying habit of feminizing products so, simply by reducing the size and offering a pink version. Today's women's sneakers are designed with a mentality completely identical to that of the men's sector and with an extra gear for the Monday contemporary women. Thank you so much, Gino, because your insights were so valuable for the design of the future female sneaker. Thanks to all of you for attention and my best regards.